and welcome my beautiful collective this is a bit of an impromptu video um my intuition my spirit was calling me to create this video so there must be someone that needs to hear the messages so this video is channeled messages from your person what would your person like to say to you if they could? So these will be channeled messages directly from your person. So let's begin. And I have already prayed and meditated over this deck. Let's get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, right now, your person feels like there is a lot of imbalance and conflict in your relationship. They feel like it's not going the way that it was. They want to, to experience the way the relationship was going when it was at its best. When it was at its best, it was a beautiful union. Your person felt like it was a beautiful union, very romantic and stable connection. But right now they feel that it's a lot of disharmony and imbalance and conflict between the two of you. Your person feels like it's a lot of delay, a lot of stagnancy. Uh, there's a lot of resistance to change from either you or your person. It's a lot of repeating negative cycles. Uh, might be a fear of change from either one of your perspectives. But nothing is changing right now. And it's unstable. A lot of disharmony. Yeah, it's not moving forward. There's no, no direction. Um, the obstacles are not being overcome. Um, so it's just, it's going nowhere right now. This is how your person is feeling. Um, so no harmony, no change, a lot of repeating the old patterns. And it's just not going anywhere right now. Okay. Your person is guilty. They feel guilty about the state of where your relationship is. Um, they feel ashamed that they could not, that they could not guide this relationship um, to a healthy state. They feel responsible. Um, they're facing a lot of challenges right now and they may have some mental health issues going on right now. They're trying to recover though. They're trying to recover. They're trying to learn how to cope with everything that's going on in their life, including the disharmony in this relationship and disappointment. They feel guilty about it. Yeah, your person has a lot of responsibility on their back right now, and they feel like, again, they haven't done a very good job, and uh, they haven't done a very good job of communicating. They haven't done a very good job of being your, being a person you could depend on. 
someone that could take this relationship to the next level, someone that could solve the issues. There have been a lot of bad choices um, made in this relationship, and basically they feel responsible and the burden of not only what they're going through in their life, the burden of disappointment, of the failure of this relationship is getting to your person. One more card for how they feel about the relationship. Yeah. But they're recovering, though. They're thinking about it. They are reflecting on everything the disappointment, the letdown, their role in not being an active person um, in this relationship, their role in being directionless, not having a direction for where this relationship is going. Um, they're recovering. They're seeing what they did wrong. Although they do feel guilty about it, they feel shameful about it, but they're awakening to all of that. They're, they're, trying to take responsibility for the state of your relationship. So right now, your person is in the beginning stages of an awakening. They're in the beginning stages of starting to take accountability for their role in the failure of this relationship. They're just starting. They're just being able to take accountability. Um, so right now, the immediate future is your person is just thinking, they're overanalyzing, they're not really moving forward. Um, they're just in a state of contemplation. So there's just emptiness right now. There's no growth. And your person is just in a state of contemplation, not moving forward. They're not taking any action right now. So they're kind of they're in a state of self-reflection and introspection, and they are learning how to cope with all of the disappointments, not only in this relationship, but in life in general. Um, they're learning how to cope with their guilt, with their shame, again, not in just the failure of their role uh, in this relationship, but in life in general. Again, your person could have some mental health issues. Um, they have a lot going on and they haven't in the past been able to delegate and handle all of the responsibilities, not only of this relationship, but everything going on in their life. So right now your person is just in a state of self-reflection and, and contemplation. So let's see exactly what they would say to you if they could. Yeah. So I just want to also point out that three major arcanas came out. Major arcanas are pivotal things in our lives. Um, so this is how your person sees your relationship. This is major uh, because they're all in the reverse. So they feel like the harmony is not there. They feel like it's so much conflict, so many obstacles to overcome. There's no balance. There's no growth. There's a lot of fear here. 
a fear of changing, a fear of letting go of negative and toxic patterns. So it's stagnant because it's a lot of fear of letting those patterns go. And it's completely directionless. Your person feels powerless. Um, they feel powerless right now. What would they say to you if they could? What would your person say to you if they could? Again, I prayed, meditated over these cards. This deck is so big, I split it up when I shuffle. What would your person say to you if they could? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm better with my mind and my heart. Your person is uncomfortable expressing emotion. They're very uncomfortable um, talking about their feelings. I get the feeling that this is a very deep connection. I mean, the lovers... That's a powerful union right there. So they have a hard time telling you how they feel, which is one of the problems that led to the failure of this relationship. It hurts so much. Your person's going through a lot. They have a lot of burdens and responsibilities that they're going, that they're handling right now. Um, so they're trying to balance everything, but they can't. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Person has a lot of burdens. <sighs> They're trying to cope with all of it. Trying to cope with the guilt, the shame, everything that's going on in their life. Why do I deserve someone like you? Your person knows that you're a good person. Your person wishes that they could give you what you deserve, but they realize that the toxicity and and unhealed trauma and wounds uh, stopping them from being the person that they're meant to be and um, they're stopping them from being the partner that they could be will you leave me like the others your person has abandonment issues okay that could be from childhood um, could be a parental figure that was not there for them or emotionally abandon them. Um, but they definitely have some abandonment issues that they need to heal. And so I think that they pull back because they're afraid of expressing themselves. When things get too deep, the person pulls back. They can't communicate. Um, but that's because they're afraid. They're afraid of abandonment. And that fear comes from some unhealed wounds from their past. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So again, your person is looking at how your relationship failed. They know that it is, if it's right, it can be an absolutely beautiful, romantic, perfect, well, not perfect, but a beautiful, a beautiful union of partnership and balance and harmony. But they know that they have to change and they know that their failures and the things that they're not dealing with is leading to the failure of this relationship. But they know you deserve better. They know you deserve better. They can't talk to you right now. You know, they can't talk to you right now because... Again, they're uncomfortable with this expressing themselves. They have a lot of hurt, a lot of hurt going on. A lot going on with this person. A lot going on with this person right now. They can't talk about it, okay? Um, and even if they could, it would be very difficult for your person to express themselves. They're not good at expressing emotion. They have to work on that. They really have, and they want to. 
um, but they feel guilty. They feel very guilty about not being able to tell you how they feel. They feel guilty about not being the person that you deserve. Why can I move on from you then? They know that it's a powerful connection. You guys got the lovers, so they know that it's a very powerful union. Um, they can't move on from you, but <laughs> they can't move on, but they know that you deserve better. So it's kind of like, you know, come on. They have to they, they, they have to do something because they can't keep you stuck in this energy. And I think that they know that they might feel guilty and ashamed about that too. They can't communicate, but they don't want you to go anywhere. They know you deserve better, but they can't talk to you. So it's just kind of, you know, it's the cycle of toxicity that they are wrapped up in. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. Another card. They know, you guys, they know that you deserve better. They know it. You know, this person is wounded deeply. This person is deeply wounded. Um, yeah, they're deeply wounded. Mm -hmm. So pray for your person. Understand, viewer, you can't heal your person. They have to heal themselves. With healing, you first have to recognize what it is that needs to be healed. Then you actively have to do the work. You can't heal them. You can only heal yourself. And you, they know that you deserve better. And viewer, you have to know that as well. You love your person, but um, you have to make a decision if you are going to wait until this person gets their shit together. Um, you have a choice that you have to make. But what could you really do? I get the feeling that you've done it all already. You've tried it all. You said it all to this person. Um, but again, there's nothing that you can do to help this person heal. They have to do it themselves. Okay. So a couple more. People don't believe in me. So your, your person has a lot of unhealed trauma. Uh, and it could be, again, from how they were raised. Um, they could have had some narcissistic parents, some parents that were emotionally abusive, could have been abusive in other ways. But whatever is happening, um, some people really let your person down in their formative years, I think. And they just generally feel like people don't believe in them. And I think that that might be because they emotionally detach a lot. They are very elusive and um, they can't express themselves well. So people don't really know how to take them. Um, and people are skeptical of investing in your person. Um, because they don't know if they can trust them. Um, and that's just because your person has a lot of wounds that they need to heal, you know, in order to communicate better, in order to be someone that is trustworthy. I don't know where to start. They're overwhelmed. Yeah, they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with a lot. It's a lot going on right now. A lot going on with your person, you know, a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, you know, so they're trying to cope with everything, trying to cope with everything. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. I believe that. 
Yeah, I really believe that. Um, your person, again, knows that you deserve better. Um, and I think that they know where they went wrong, you know. But they have to, they have to be the ones to step up and change it, you know. I was hurt by you. So you may have walked away. You may have said enough is enough. You may have had to leave for your own mental sanity. You may have had to make a choice between yourself and this person. And you may have had to walk away when your person was hurt by that. But, you know, you have to do what you have to do when you are trying to be better. If you know that a situation is toxic, if you know that you're in a situation that isn't reciprocal, if you know that you're in a situation that just plain out, flat out, makes you feel bad, you have to do what you have to do. So get the feeling that you had to make a choice to walk away for your own health and, and, and love for yourself. No one understands me but you. Yeah, there's a deep connection between you and your person. Um, you love them, they love you. Uh, believe that you were probably the only one that really, <coughs> excuse me, I believe that you were really the only person that ever wanted this person to want to open up, that you were the only person that this person wanted to open up to, rather, and expose themselves, but they were deathly afraid of that. Um, but they they felt that way because they felt like you're the only one that understands them, and you, you probably are. I think you see something in your person no one else does, and they know that, right? One more. I can't make you happy. So your person feels like you can't, they can't make you happy because they have a lot, you know, and they don't know where to start. They have a lot going on and they don't know where to start. Um, but this person is just in a victim mentality right now. They're feeling down on themselves. They're overwhelmed by everything that's going on. And they're taking a lot on their shoulders right now. Um, they've got to get out of this energy. They've just got to get out of this energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my throat chakra is really acting up. So that lets me know. Somebody doesn't want me saying these, these things, but... Or these messages coming out, but... Your person has to get out of this energy or else they're not going to be able to. Your person has to get out of this energy or else this is the possible future of their relationship. No progress, no closure, incompleteness, no growth, not taking a risk. You know, they have to get out of it. And, viewer, you just have to decide um, what, what you're going to do. So, um, you know, it, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to contemplate. Um, I know you love your person. The person is not well right now. The best thing you can do for them is pray. Pray for them, you know. Pray for them. So, send positive energy their way. Send positive energy their way. Let's get some some encouragement <clears throat> from the Holy Spirit from for you. Whoa! <laughs> Not doing a good job of shuffling today. Excuse me. Let's get some encouragement for you, viewer. Yeah. A heavy, heavy reading, very heavy reading, and you know, God bless your person. God bless your person. Life is hard.
Life can be very challenging. Life can be hard. The disappointments of life, the cycles, the ups and downs, it can break us down, man. It can break us down. But when you have a foundation of spiritual truth, when you have a strong foundation in the Holy Spirit and in God, you just know that you do not fight your battles. You give them to God because that's what God is there for. God did not create us to have a life of misery, to have a life of burden, to have a life of unhappiness. And until we learn to give our burdens to him, until we learn that we have the power to create the life that we want, we are susceptible to negativity and toxicity. Okay, so pray that your person is enlightened by the truth of who they are. And the truth is, forgive my shuffling, guys. The truth is, is that they are capable of having the life that they want. The truth is that they are capable of being happy. The truth is they can manifest the life that they want. But you can't see that if you engage and participate in low vibrations. So pray for your person, viewer. Pray for your person and for yourself. It's pretty. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Go the distance, so don't stop. Um, go the distance. Keep your eye on the prize. Recognize when to let go. Recognize when to walk away for your own self-love. And go the distance for yourself, okay? Again, God created us to have a life of abundance. And viewer, you have to make a decision if you want that life. So make a choice and go for it. You can be happy. You can be happy. You can have the desires of your heart. But you have to believe it. And you have to recognize it. And you have to walk in it. Okay. You can, you can, you can have it. Soulmates. So, this might be your soulmate. This person could be your soulmate. You could feel that way. They could feel that way. Okay? Regardless if it's a strong connection. Regardless if it is or not. There are lessons to be learned, even from soulmates. There are lessons to be learned. Just because you are soulmates does not mean that you have to subject yourself to negativity. And just because you're soulmates does not mean you have to subject yourself and waste your time and energy in a relationship that doesn't make you feel good. Okay? So. Being soulmates does not mean that you have to sacrifice your happiness. Being soulmates does not mean you have to sacrifice. Okay, so it's a strong connection. Understand that your prayers can help this person greatly. Okay, your prayers can help this person greatly. Ask yourself, what good would it do for you to live in, what good would it do for you to live in this energy with this person? Would that help the situation? Would that help you? No. So, okay. 
even though you guys are soulmates, pray for your person. That that just means that you understand each other. Like he said. Like your person said. They feel like you're the only one that understands them. No one understands me but you. That's because you guys are soulmates. And that's cool. And that's cool. Just pray for them. You know? It's a deep connection. So send them love. Send them positive energy. Okay? Pray for them. One more card. One more card. TikTok time waits for no one. Time waits for nobody. Okay? TikTok viewer. What are you going to do? TikTok. Can't put your life on hold. Okay? Can't put your life on hold. Make a decision. What do you want? What do you want? You know? Look at how the hands are extended out, like as if they're giving a gift. But it's a clock there. You gotta make a choice how much time. How much time, you know, are you gonna spend in things or with people that aren't elevating you? Because time is moving on. Regardless, time is moving on. So you reflect upon that, okay? And I'm going to close it out there. I hope this message resonated with you. And find encouragement in the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you, okay? Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. God wants you to know that he's with you. And God wants to know that you're capable of having the desires of your heart. As long as you focus and go the distance, okay? So, God bless you. I hope this reading resonated with you. Take just a second, like, share, and subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you as a part of this community. But until next time, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.